Just moments ago, LA County released new changes to its testing approach. And here to explain how this will impact you is one of our good friends, Dr. Tasha Dixon Hi. with the LA County Department of Health Services. I know <laughs> I'm interrupting I can't even again. get your intro. Like, hey, girl. <laughs> How you doing, doctor? <laughs> Good to see you. I am absolutely fantastic. Good morning. It is so amazing to be back with you guys. And Suzanne, I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you, Dr. Dixon. I can't believe it took, you know, after when we thought the pandemic was over mm -hmm. to get sick. Can we talk about this new announcement this morning? And are these changes affecting people who don't have health insurance too? So the newest change and it's kind of a good one, right? So we are now, Los Angeles County is going to be moving from a pandemic and crisis mode and moving beyond that into our standard healthcare services. And so what does that mean now? It means that if you have insurance, we recommend that you call your doctor or you call your insurance to get the best place for you to test. Those without insurance, have no fear. We still are here and providing services for you. You can come to any Los Angeles County testing site and we will still be able to provide that. And if you have questions, still come to a Los Angeles County site and we will work through it with your insurance or without your insurance to still get you tested. And Dr. Dixon, after Suzanne got COVID, I had to get tested as well, but I tested at a lab, but I also did the at-home test. So uh, if someone were to take a test at home, do they need to report their results? So we do recommend you talking, if especially if it's positive, we recommend you talking with your doctor. And the reason why is to early testing is really, really key to being able to be treated um, and to taking those medications that we've all heard about that are so helpful to us um, getting back to some normalcy after we've been infected. So if you test positive, even at home, call your doctor or come to an urgent care or come to a facility and let someone know so that we can initiate treatment immediately for you. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Dixon, if someone has insurance but isn't sure how to get a COVID test, what are some options? Great. Um, so you can go to covid19.lacounty.gov slash testing, um, and they will be able to, that site can help you to direct you to wherever you can go. 211 will be helpful, calling your insurance or calling your primary care provider. This is that time if you have not called your PCP to go back in for your care, it's that time. And lastly, if you haven't gotten your vaccine, Get your vaccine. Shout out to those that are vaxxed and boosted. And a final question for you. If we do see more surges in uh, variants, will the county consider putting free testing back in place for everyone? So the county is here to provide the services that we need for every Los Angeles resident. And so when time comes, we will, of course, look and see what we need to do. But at the end of the day, we are here to protect you and everyone in our county. And so I'm absolutely confident that we'll do whatever it needs. It will rise to the, to, to the challenge. But we're hoping to not get there if everyone's vaccine and boosted. Oh, yes. you're so right. And you know what? Thanks for always picking up the phone and, and, and coming yes. on whenever we need you. Uh, you can tell we are big fans of yours. <laughs> I couldn't even get your name out before Suzanne is like, hey, guys. I didn't even know. <laughs> coming on. That's what was so fun to be like, Dr. Dixon. We love it. I miss it. you guys so much. No, we often. Good to see you. We need to put her Instagram on our website too. She's fun to follow there. That's she the thing is. I love. You're so accessible and down to earth and you're an incredible local doctor. Yes, you are. Thank you and good to see you, friend.